What is adverse yaw? I'm Henry from FSW, and in today's video, we're gonna be exploring the causes and effects of adverse yaw. Before we get into this video, there are a few vocab terms that you should familiarize yourself with. Firstly, the cord line is a straight line drawn from the leading edge of the airfoil to the trailing edge of the airfoil. Secondly, induced drag is any kind of drag produced as a result of lift. Induced drag decreases as airspeed increases. Thirdly, angle of attack is the angle between the cord line of the wing and the relative wind. When angle of attack increases, so does lift, at least until you stall. You might notice when flying a small aircraft without a yaw damper that when you roll the aircraft right using the ailerons, the aircraft wants to yaw to the left. This phenomenon is called adverse yaw. To roll an airplane, we use ailerons. These ailerons move up and down on each wing of the aircraft. Say you'd like to roll to the left. When you put a left input on the stick or yoke of the aircraft, the right aileron will go down while the left one goes up. When the right aileron goes down, it increases the angle of attack of that section of the wing. It does this by lowering the trailing edge of the wing therefore increasing the angle of the cord line. This then in turn increases the angle of attack of the wing. However, when the right aileron goes down, it creates a byproduct of lift, induced drag. This induced drag slows the raised wing of the aircraft and creates a yawing motion opposite of that of the roll. The opposite happens with the raised aileron, increasing the intensity of this phenomenon. An easy way to determine which aileron is up and which is down is to remember that the top of the yoke always points to the raised aileron. Also, to correct for adverse yaw, when using aileron input, remember to use a slight bit of rudder in the same direction as you're rolling. If you do this on your first flight lesson, you can be sure your instructor will be impressed. You should also note that because induced drag decreases as airspeed increases, Adverse yaw also decreases as airspeed increases. Thanks for watching. If you think I deserve a sub, be sure and go ahead and do so. And happy flying.